All right, what's up, everyone? This is David with the Friendly Bear Podcast. Today, I got Francie over here from Trace Space, and we're going to just go over uh, some questions about the computer. You know, so when I first got to Trace Space, I had, like, uh, everything was kind of vague still to me. I was like, that place is kind of too good to be true. It was like, look at this thing. What kind of, co- like, I didn't know what kind of computers to, exp- I mean, you see the screens, but you don't know what it can handle. You don't know this, the layout, kind of. You kind of have on the internet, like, a virtual layout. So it's yeah. kind of. That's that's really helpful. Well, you know, now since I've been here a while and I've, I've actually firsthand got, ex- got experience firsthand with the computer, I decided, you know, maybe you talk about it. And also, like, the desk is really cool. So we're going to talk about that real quick. So first, Francie, you want to give, like, a little background on the Trade Space office? Uh, what's up, everybody? So, yes. So Trade Space was originally, crea- was originally created kind of like a, like a workspace for traders and only traders. So... Um, think of it kind of like as a WeWork. You come in here and you do what you got to do, do your own trades, do your own um, strategies, what so, what not. Um, we also have providing education now. So if you want to come in here to learn, you can also come in to learn as well. But um, mainly you come in here, you sit down like David, you come and do your thing. And then hopefully, not hopefully, but you will, you know, communicate with the community around you, traders around you, learn from them, give back to them. And it becomes kind of like this, like, um, everybody feeding off each other's energy for growth. And then some people here trade small caps, some people here trade um, large caps, different strategies. And then you just kind of like mix and match with whoever you, you know, resonate the most here in the office and then also learn from others. And then you just keep growing as a trader and just do your thing and have a, have a fun time while trading instead of being, you know, locked up in your house or whatever. Yeah, great, great stuff. Okay, so yeah, the computer, yeah, so like there's a lot of types of traders here. There's really, there's crypto traders, options traders, I know Francie trades options, I short sell small caps, and apparently now with the podcast, like some people are starting to come here with a short selling, <laughs> like a short selling click over here now. But um, but yeah, so like the computer, so, so the computer's are really crazy. So like I'm running like a, f- a few different brokers here, like the platforms, which take up a lot of like a space in the computers and like in the with the computers I've had in the past like personal ones I've had to be careful because like if you have too many of those things it's going to start lagging and I yeah or crash and and I have Photoshop and Premiere Pro on it and like Telegram Discord like the actual downloaded versions and like it runs seamlessly you know like I'm just like I'm in the matrix over here you know just, just uh yeah. moonwalking all through everything you know what I mean so but um but yeah, and also I wanted to mention the desk too. The desk is like a really cool wooden material. It goes up and down, uh, four different settings. It has like a foam mat. You know, this stuff is is meant to get work done over here and to like trade comfortably. Because I know if you're not comfortable while you're trading, just like a little, because you're, let's say if I'm getting squeezed out of a stock, if I'm short selling, the last thing I want to worry about is like my feet hurting if I'm standing up and all that, or like some annoying thing. So the, everything here is well thought of so that you don't have to worry about all that. You worry about your trading, you know? And it helps a lot, it, it helps a lot. So, yeah, they have these four giant screens. Maybe Francie can talk about that. It's like this really cool setup of like, almost like the Pentagon, like, like Francie said before, and, or like NASA or something. They have like these really good arms and really good like, you know, structure around, like a cage around the computer. And it's just cable management. Everything's really really done well. So yeah, Francie, you want to talk about the details of as far as that goes? Sure. So initially, when we started this, we had the idea of having four monitors. Um, Lucci had already traded with a friend of his in Boston. He has an Investors Underground, Nate, and he already has an office with monitors like this. So he kind of wanted to replicate that that idea into an office space and put in a lot of th- uh, desks together, so we can create like trade space. So the desks he was able to find from a friend in Chicago, if I'm, I believe, that bulk or sold them um, for, you know, for offices like this. The monitors, so my friend and I decided to, you know, look how until we get into nice specs for a computer. So we decided on a four, 4K 32-inch monitors would work ideal for this type of setup. And then when it comes down to the specs of the computer, he, I let him handle that. He had to make sure to put in all the RAM the computer needed, all the processing power, all the GPU, all that. So aside from that, the desk has, like you said, four settings so you can, you know, push the desk up and down. The computer is locked up in a cage for security reasons. We don't want no one else to be coming in here late at night and bugging your computer or whatever, right? Um, Cable management was a hassle, I'll tell you that. But it was done with a lot of zip ties and a lot of patience, a lot of patience. Aside from that... um, 
USB, we have a USB hub here, so you can connect anything to the computer. And then in terms of peripherals, we give you, we provide you with a Corsair K55 and then a wireless Logitech mouse. In case, in this case, David has his own wired mouse, which by the way, you can also bring your peripherals at any moment. Um, you can bring your keyboard, your headset, your mouse, even a webcam like David has here, and we'll either connect it for you or you can, you can do it yourself. You're free to bring whatever peripherals you want because as an individual or as a trader, whoever's using the computer, usually want to deal with your own stuff, right? Like your own keyboard, you have your own preference and whatnot, so we're not gonna block you from that. You can always bring that too. Um, and we'll just hook it up for you as well. You got the nice keyboard mat. And then, like David said, we have the foam on the bottom. So if you want to stand up for long hours, you can just pull that out and boom, you're set. Awesome. And, yeah, so they started a, recently a Twitch channel. I, I was on it w once for, like, five minutes. And then, like, I was getting squeezed. I got to get out. <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe I wasn't getting squeezed. I don't know. But I, I think I was. But, uh, but, yeah, they started a Twitch channel. So, like, every so often, the traders Tuesdays. Are, Tuesdays they're gonna we jump on Twitch and they get that. That's why you know, whoever, like I have the camera, I got a headset, so I'm ready to go for Twitch if I want to get on that. And then like you know, you bring some of your own stuff. Um, yeah, no, it's good stuff. And then there's a kitchen, there's like a conference room. The conference room is really cool because it, it's you could do like, what is it? Conference calls. You can meetings. it's it's meetings. There's a soundproof yeah. glass. Yeah, yeah. And then um. What else? You know, they have like a, a spot with like a PS4, PS5. I don't play video games, but like these guys do. Um, hey, you want to talk about the setup? Like when you come through the elevator, like you mentioned before, and like what yeah. you, yeah, all that. So once you walk in, immediately you're going to be facing the office. Like there's no hallways, there's no other doors. As soon as the elevator door opens, it's like, boom, you're here. So as soon as you walk in, you have the living room next to you. You have the kitchen next room, um, right next to the living room as well. TV, which we usually have playing CNBC during the day. But like at, after hours, you can either sit down there, watch Netflix, watch YouTube, play PS5, anything you want. Um, aside from that, inside the building, we also have a conference room. Like David mentioned before, you can go in there to do your Zoom calls. You can do your Zoom meetings, Google meetings or whatever. And then outside of the office, no more than a block away, we also have a 24-hour gym. We have a 24-hour grocery store. There's also a lots of food spots around this building. And on top of that, like there's museums, stuff you can park. There's the beach. It's like 15 minutes away. So not only inside of the office you have some great perks, but you also have a lot of nice perks outside of the office. Yeah, exactly. Like um, I will go regularly to the gym. It takes me literally five minutes and I have like a 10 minute workout and then I'm back all in like 20 minutes. I do the work, everything, you know, it's right there. It's 24 hours. Efficiency. Yeah. You know, the grocery store is right next to the gym and that's 24 hours. It's the art. This is like the art district. They have a, like two museums here, um, a contemporary one and another, another historic history one, whatever. But, um, you can walk to the beach. Yeah, it's it's a great location. Eight, eight, it's like under eight dollar ride to the airport or with Uber. I don't know with inflation now, but um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Five right gas price is going up. But um, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, just everything runs pretty seamless here. You got uh, some good traders around. You know, they're coming in and out of the office. It's like me sometimes. Um, I'll be traveling for like a month and then I come back and I'm like, you know, it's it's just having the whole setup ready to go because like when 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 you're traveling. You know, a lot of people in the on in Puerto Rico were, were here, but we also travel back and right. forth. And it's good. You just you just press uh, the Windows button, L, log in, and boom, you're set up. You know, and I was out, yeah, good to go after like a, with I was gone for a month, and I'm right back, right, ready to go <laughs> the second I come here. So it's yeah. really really convenient having all, all everything here. And um, what else? Anything else? Oh yeah, the glare. So like, they really right. well thought of. You know, so like okay, so the the screens are like a matte finish and like the sunlight that comes in, they have these blinds that come and block all the sunlight. Right. You know, um, you have wall street, Jesus yelling in the background with his dog during the day, um, calling out. It's a really cool environment. Then there's like a computer thing that yells, that calls out plays too. I don't know. Uh, Jesus. that's wall street, Jesus. Yeah. And, um, what else? That's, that's about it. Really? Any, any other thoughts? 
Um, no, aside where, from where you see trade space in the future. Yeah. So, oh, so in regards to that, we are thinking of expanding by the end of this year to a bigger and better space where we can pr provide this to much more traders. Right now, we're kind of limited in space, um, and the office is full right now. So, coming into the end of this year, we want to expand so we can bring down more traders, bring down more people into the office. Hopefully, get like a bigger space with a bigger living room, bigger kitchen. And uh, yeah, aside from that, after we finish that, the plan is to keep expanding and bringing this to the whole world. Imagine you wanting to go to, I don't know, Colombia or Venezuela or Chicago or, I don't know, Alaska, and we have a trade space set up everywhere. And then you can just hop on from trade space to trade space and travel while trading. That's, kind of, that's the end goal for trade space. Yeah, that's, that'll be sick, man, because every time I travel, it's like I, I can't make any money. Exactly. <laughs> well, now you can travel and make yeah, money. Yeah, and I... Money. Or lose money. Your thing is with the, with the little with the laptop traveling. I don't know if people do it. It's just like, I can't. yeah, I can't. and it's it's I'm limiting. Too you know, used to this. yeah. It's like you're going from like um, yeah. If you're if you're used to this, it's like playing baseball. You know, you are using the heavy bat, and then you go to like a little pee wee league bat. Yeah. And the you know? ball, and instead of a hundred <laughs> mile per hour baseball, it's like a fifty so, mile per hour baseball. Game. Someone <laughs> lobs it to you, and you're thrown off. Yeah. Okay. So what else? Okay. Last thing. Oh yeah, the generators. So, like, they have generators here, and, like, the electricity sometimes goes out on the island and stuff. But over here, as far as the computer is concerned and the Internet, I've never had a, an issue. I've been here a year, and, like, that has not even happened once. I think it, if it did, I didn't feel it, you know? So, yeah. Any other thoughts? Yeah. So, the building is equipped with a backup generator. On top of that, the computers are equipped with a backup battery. So, you have two lines of defenses before you completely go out. Um, you also have internet, backup internet as well. So you have, again, another line of defense before the internet completely goes out. We do still encourage traders to have their computers or, I mean, their laptops or their phones ready to go just in case, worst case scenario. But aside from that, you shouldn't really be worrying too much because we have lines of defenses installed just in case. And we have to have these since we live on an island and it's hurricane prone every year. And uh, we never know when we're going to have a blackout or not, right? Yeah. So just the trader can have a peace of mind you can always come in here and even work when like the whole building well, whole, when the whole city could be shut down there's most likely going to be a, at least a backup generator here or something going on here so you should be good at trade space absolutely and with that okay so that wraps this up a uh, little trade space podcast introducing the computers and all that and everything about trade space so that's it's cool and we got it done so thanks Francie, for coming and yeah i'll see you guys later with the next podcast